All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we are gonna be taking a look at AMC RVLP, that's a new viewer request, and then one more look at Finger, FNGR. So um, look, AMC, it is, it is now a very, very interesting chart, all right? You know I was watching it right here, sad that it failed. You know I was watching it here, sad that it failed. I was watching it here. I'm not sure if I made a video, but I was watching it here. We are now seemingly over some really important lines that, I mean, have been just hurting and hurting and hurting the stock for a while. So um, there, there's some interesting things that might be happening on AMC, all right? RVLP, so I, I have been watching this stock. I don't have any money in it, and honestly, I don't have many thoughts on it. So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna record here will actually be pretty live, and, and, and you know, you'll get my just pretty natural thoughts. But yeah, it looks like it's been an interesting mover, and if I'm not mistaken, it looks like there's a gap fill on that. But again, I'm not 100% I'm not on that chart. And then FNGR. FNGR, I was super bullish on Monday, wildly sad on Tuesday, very, very excited the days after, right? And finger, at finger motion, where the goal is not to just say finger, uh, FNGR is very much looking like it's, it's, it's hopefully getting back to it. I didn't know what else to say, but um, yeah, this is a this is an interesting one, two, three to say the least. But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but just being here and giving me your time, oh man, I can't thank you enough, all right? So let's get into it. Look, AMC, you know I am not here to be an ape. You, I don't even know if the people are still saying that word, but hey, like, <laughs> shows how dated I am. But like, I am not here to be a fanboy. I am not here to be talking about squeezes. What I'm here to do is use these moving averages, use these lower indicators and some of my lines to just hopefully make some educated decisions, right? And look, if you can break the eight, you should go to the 20. And that's what I was hunting, all right? And and we were close, couldn't confirm. We were close, could, like it, it was just a back and forth that, that, that was bad, right? We then get to a magical point, right? And I say magical loosely, right? But this thing had two decisions. It was either gonna go up like it has or it was gonna go down like it didn't, right? There, there wasn't much more that could have happened when these two lines got this close. And hey, we're starting to go up. We couldn't quite confirm, but that's, that's solid. We're actually over all of the green candles down here. We're starting to go into this red, 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 right? Like there's a lot of reason to believe this is gonna come to $10, all right? From there, this RSI is actually not in a bad place. There's still plenty of room for this thing to go up. It wasn't that long ago that, oh, interesting. Hmm. Give me a second. Okay, this isn't that long ago. Interesting, we're still here. Get out of here. So, sorry for the pause right there. It's a little surprising to see that as I draw this line right here at 72, again, it's still a little higher than our RSI, but there are not a lot of moments in this entire year. Because look, I mean, my line is, is pretty much in the middle of January, right? Like all of 2023 has essentially been a 72 or less RSI. This one seemingly was the highest and it only got to 89. It actually never even hit 80. So that's interesting because I will be honest, I was assuming that this thing was gonna get into the high 80s, if not higher, but um, that's a little interesting RSI thing to, to put in the back pocket. That said, look, I like this. I like seeing this volume, all right? Now, obviously that's horrible, horrible volume, but if we look after that, so I'm zooming in, 
I'm basically looking from this green candle onward, all right? This one is basically knocked out with these two. And we still have a couple, like, I feel like there is still more buying than selling in this window. Like, people started to hold and weren't actually just daily flipping, even though it kind of looks like it right here. They were actually accumulating, and I think we might be starting to go up. Like, there's, I think, a good story in the volume right here. I obviously wish the MACD was a little more positive, right? Like, we are definitely in a negative, and yeah, negative three doesn't sound that bad, but negative anything is not that great, you know what I mean? So, um, I think getting to this 10 line is still very realistic. I don't know if we'll get over 11. Okay, obviously my next line is right here. Let me zoom out to see if it's worth, yeah, I'm gonna lower that. That is, oh, but I, ah, I see what I did. Okay, I'm gonna draw two lines is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this down here to that 1111, and then I'm actually gonna draw one more on, I think this, this day, what day was this? This 830 day, August 30th, was a, it, that, that's, that's the critical candle right now. What is, where's this? Oh, that's, that's half of this guy. Yeah, I'll leave that. I will leave that. Okay, I like this. I, I don't know if we're gonna get over this line, all right? That said, going from nine to roughly 13, nine, 10, you're, you're adding more than 33%, give or take, right? Rough math right there. And again, it's essentially red, 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 green, 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 green. Even this little moment from 1111 to this is nothing more than red, 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 green, 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 a whole mess of nothing, right? Even that's kind of a, like, I think, I think I, I like that. I, I don't think these two lines will be much of a difficulty. I think there's maybe a chance it gives them a little bit of hiccup, but I think 1290 is a very fair target for AMC here. And look at that. That's seemingly where the eight moving average is. I don't think we're going to get over this, this line. And I think the weekly kind of confirms it with that eight moving average. I do. Um, I like these lines a lot. AMC, check this one out next week. Again, there's a potential for a 33% swing here. Um, let me know if you disagree or not. Otherwise, let's move to RVLP. Okay. Just really quickly, hey, if you can please subscribe, that would be much, much appreciated, all right? So let's take a look at RVLP. Again, you can see that I have no lines on this. I actually have not been trading this thing. Um, this, is, this is a funky chart here. I don't use the word funky very often either, in all honesty, all right? But um, this is funky. Um, the first things that I'm kind of seeing are back here, actually. So... I'm gonna click onto this one random day. All right, volume on this day was 100,000 shares, okay? I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit more. Let me actually get a history of this stock. Let me actually zoom out, zoom out. All right, so this thing is, for the most part, there's, there's a couple things I see, all right? We're, we're obviously in a hard downtrend. Um, this thing is generally under more of the moving averages than it is over, especially since whatever happened in 2022, right? Um, sorry, I'm just looking and thinking right now. So the eight, the, the, I'm telling you like, it's an interesting chart. I wish I, I knew a little bit more here. I think the weird thing is the volume like i don't know if there was any news here like i don't get how we went from 150 shares on this day to all of a sudden starting to push like 10 12 like this thing 10x is volume as it's flying down and then again 10x is volume as it starts to pick up but it isn't picking up like the the volume is freaking me out i'm telling you i actually i really and i think maybe that's why i never made a buy on this thing i don't know but ooh, this is a this is a weird chart all right the next thing i want to know is where's this line okay that's essentially what what caught us today i i don't think and obviously i mean it's it's a little easier to see today right but yeah i don't know if i would touch this till 15. I think if you can get into 15 cents, you're now essentially in that good 50% candle of this guy. Where's your 50 moving average at? It's at 21. 
you're you're adding 33 percent right there that's not a bad trade right there i think did we wick 15 today yeah the high of the day was 15. don't let the 15 fool you out you're gonna want to see it close or like Give me a second. Let's go into the hourly. What did it look like in the hour? Oh, that was a that was a mid morning pop, and then it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Where was it on the fifteen? Yeah, I mean, I guess the RSI was a little bit on the high side. It was a ninety one. Okay, maybe that would have been easy to not get faked out. But yeah, fifteen is what needs to look. Red, 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 red could be a nice green, 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 green. Break the fifty, you might go to the hundred. Like I, I see it right, but. I'm telling you, the volume is the one that's speaking the most to me. And this was way, way, way more of an undefinitive video than I was expecting. So in some ways, I actually apologize. I don't know if you actually gained any value watching this. Um, let me know if there's some news or if you have any better opinions than me. But yeah, I think this is the only line that I can draw from there. Yeah, the assumption would be a quick shot to the 50. Just looking at the 50, right? Like, still zooming out so basically since here and even that yeah since this we've been below the 50 moving average for coming up on a year basically middle to early october of last year is when we lost it and i mean yeah there was some moments here but definitely not any good breaks and follow-throughs right so don't don't assume the 50 is going to break even though it's in this red 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 what's the weekly look like it's an interesting weekly Man, this is a this is a really really interesting chart. You're telling me in the beginning of August in a 5-day period, a weekly chart that we're in, we were getting 300,000 shares and now only what one two ish months we're pushing 300 million. That's a 100x volume. Damn. <sighs> Let me know what the news is. This is a, look, this did get over the eight moving average on the weekly. We actually haven't done that since here. We've been able to do it and you can see it makes a decent run then, then fails it, right? I think maybe that there's a shot that we can come to 20. I do, because that's also a good line to draw here. Man, there's maybe even a shot that this comes to 28. Where's 28 on the daily? I'll draw that. If we get over the 50, I would say 27, 28 is a good wall. That's at least something valuable I can say I brought on this video. Beautiful. Cool. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, as always, you know it. I appreciate you so, so much. FNGR. Let's come into the last one on this video. FNGR. It looks like it is trying to crawl back. Okay. I was so, so bullish on Monday. They dropped some news on Tuesday that clearly the market didn't like, but hey, it did not confirm down. Instead, what it did was it regained that, it regained that, and it regained that, right? So let's see what we can do early next week. But again, the MACD is looking good, the RSI is looking good, and hey, volume went up and down, but volume is actually doing a nice little uptrend from right there, you know what I mean? So. There is actually still a good amount to like. Let me close my door. Oh, it's already closed. Beautiful. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I, I am I am still, look, am I as bullish as I was here? I guess you can say no, because yeah, we are under this one resistance I have, right? So like, yeah, that is a little, and hey, I don't care at all about what this after hours noise looks like. Like that is, that's nothing to me actually. Um, that said, that's great. That's great. And I still do like the volume here. So I'm, I am excited to come next week. I am hoping we can regain 672. If we can gain $6.73, 74, 75, 76 cents. Oh man, I'm going to start thinking about that five shh, dyslexic, that $7.57 line again. Where are we on the weekly? This is what actually really caught my eye. The the, I always say day because I'm generally talking about the day, but look, the candle after the doji is generally very, very telling of the truth. This right here is kind of giving me the reason to believe we're either going to break this line or we might come back down to like five something. 
I, I really think there's going to be a dollar movement up or down, and it's either going to come into this basically 750 world or 550 world. I think I like what the indicators look like. We're actually still positive on the MACD. That's a real healthy number. And I mean, volume starting to look really different on, on here, right? So I think it's going to be a really interesting weekly candle. And I think we're setting up a really interesting daily chart. So um, overall, I'm actually liking what Finger is looking like. And again, I think I feel good that this was just an overreaction. And I, again, I said it on the Discord. I don't I don't know if you watched it. I'm going to come to this one. So I know we talked about it on this one. One second. FMGR. Um, right here. Look, he thought that the offering was at a good price. And again, our opinions don't matter. Obviously, it is what the market thinks, right? But... I think this was an overreaction and maybe they agree with him that, hey, it actually wasn't an ugly offering. It was just, you know, offering's an ugly word. It's a scary word. It's a word that brings a reaction like this and then people are swallowing it and kind of saying, okay, maybe, right? So again, let me know your thoughts and opinions, but I like this going into um, next week. Um, you know it. I appreciate you so, so much.